Welcome back fellow nerds of the internet. I am SkyFi and today I'm going to be playing Siren Head Awakening. It says it was released October 30th, 2020. Developed and published by Prisma Games. And it says this game is a first person horror game based on Trevor Henderson's artwork. In the description for the it says as I lead into the darkness of the woods in search of missing parts to fix my broken car, surrounded by the eerie sound of the susurration of the leaves in the gusty wind, my eyes meet the unknown. Taller than the trees, a siren head, this decaying creature that par par paralyzes my existence. Sweat dripping to the bottom of my spine, vast darkness ahead, Fallen bodies of those before me with the same wretched fate. Dusted letters I find along the way that guide me. Will my world crumble beneath my feet? Or will I make it into the light? I don't know. But we will find out. I would like for the brightness to be up so that way everybody can see. Because dark games are dark. Normal, baby, and hard. Oh, so I guess there's different variations to play. Welcome to Siren Head Awakening. You find yourself in the middle of a dark forest with nothing but a flashlight. You must find four car parts scattered across the map to repair your broken down car and escape. Due to physical limitations, you can only hold one car part at a time. Finding car parts among other items also seems to anger the beast that lurks before the that lurks the shadow, Siren Head. So it kind of sounds like Slender to where you had to pick up like a certain amount of pages. And every time you got a page, it would piss him off even further. And he would just come after you even, even more, even faster. Stamina is an important part of your life when sprinting through the woods. So very, you're very vulnerable without it, so use it wisely. Your flashlight is also a vi valuable tool. But be sure to turn it off when you hear Siren Head nearby, or else you'll get hunted. When being hunted, it's a good idea to try and find shelter while you're running. Siren Head cannot reach for you if you're inside a building or vehicle. Use what you learn to escape, to try and escape. Good luck. I'm gonna try... I'm gonna go for easiest and then move my way up. Oh my god, yeah, this definitely gives me slender vibes. You don't have any parts. It said I could take shelter inside vehicles and buildings. Okay, that's my sprint button. There's no stamina bar indicating how much sprint I have. Does this count as inside? I wouldn't say so. Looks like there's a trail going that way. It looks like there's some buildings out in that direction too. We'll have to go that way. I'm going to hug the fence line, keep the fence line on my left, and the road on my right side. I'm kind of curious about that side road back there though. Is that, is that a bunker? That looks like a bunk around the distance. I wish I could zoom. Hello, what's in here? Nothing at all. This looks to be just a building that I could probably go in. In case he starts chasing me. It's probably not a giant game, like, in terms of, like, world. It's probably just, like, a big circle. Not a single thing over here. No part, nothing? I feel like I've come a long way. What's in the train car? Is there a part in the train car? Almighty train car, do you have a part for me? Yeah, you do. Should I, like, stick to the road or, like, cut through the freaking forest? I gotta go all the way back that way. I do, however, want to conserve my stamina's. I see the car! I want to use all my stamina, just a little bit. Sprints, little sprints. Little sprints, little sprints. 
All right, baby boy, just added a battery. There's a the gas station. I didn't even know this. Why didn't I think to go backwards? Okay, now I'm inside. Oh, okay. Got a spark plug. I got a spark plug. Very good. What's that do for me? Is there anything outside? Okay. Thought I turned around. And he was right. That is a creepy ass sound to put in place of picking an item up and dropping it off. Like, that was genuinely scary. So, like, he's near. Oh, shit, there he is, too. I see him out there walking in the distance. Damn, he is tall. Okay. Okay, there's this path. I see it. Just barely, but I see it. Okay, so this kind of branches off here. I don't know where the hell this path goes. Have I been to that house? What is this? Okay, this looks new. This is definitely new. Oh my. I got the gas can. The whole ass town here. I have actually lost myself. Is this a notable location? Have I been here? It's getting hard. Oh my god, an oil canister. Oh. <clears throat> oh, that's a shame. Is this the gas? Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I know where I am. Okay, I know where I am. There's my car. Oh my god. Yo, he's right by my car. Oh my god, okay. <clears throat> I think he's chasing me. Oh god. I do not miss that sound. Fuck, dude, dial up. Oh god, I don't like that sound. I'm inside, yo. Now I know he's like camping the area that I'm definitely in. Gas canister has been added. Sprint walk. Sprint walk. Come on, baby. Sprint walk. Yes. Okay, wow, got an achievement. We escaped. Oh, huh. Whew. 
That loud freaking dial-up sound is ridiculous. Escaped. The trouble that came with collecting your car parts, the terror filled in your heart through the journey you've managed to repair the car ready for escape. But the loud booming footsteps seem even closer than before. You've never been so terrified in your life. You graciously made the escape, never to return again. You lived to tail the tale. You escaped alive. Normal Siren Head difficulty. Siren Head spawns after first item. Limited stamina. Oh boy. Got it. We good. Now my question... Is I'm wondering if these parts are in the same-ish location. That's one of the main part questions I have. Oh look, spark plug is already right here. Do I want to pick that up? Okay, actually I don't want to pick that up just yet because... Siren Head spawns after the first item's picked up. So now we know where the first item's at, which is near the car. That could be good. I would much rather that be like the last item I need since the car is just right there. So I noticed the spots must be randomized. They have to be. Oh, okay. I see our stamina bar down there at the bottom. I see. Look, the oil canister is just right here too. Okay, so we got like two parts in close proximity. That's nice. I don't think he spawns in until you pick up the first one. So if that's the case, you know, do these count as items? That's what I want to know. Does he spawn after collecting notes? God, I hope not. I somehow found myself alive after being chased by that monster. I don't know the point of writing this note, except to hope to holy god that someone reads this. I've been chased by the monster, but I made a deadly mistake. I fell into an enclosure, broke my foot and arms, with impaled pieces of wood through my body. Not important organs, I don't think. I don't have much longer to live, but I can only pray and hope for a miracle. I hope that doesn't count as a item. Because if it does, I'm going to be a little sad about it. Do I have to collect all the car parts and the survivor notes? Or are the survivor notes optional? Please. Please, dear lord. Do not let this being spawn. So far, it looks like the gas canister is the furthest item away. Is that a note? I trek toward the sound, hearing more of the creature, all the while getting fearful and careful as I get closer. I do not like this. As I'm sitting in this shelter, writing this note, I wonder what that thing is. Whatever it is. It sounds big and alien in nature. I'm not sure my friends are alive at this point. I fear they have died. I intend to find their fate nonetheless. Okay. Now we're just looking for a battery. I wonder if it'll be, like, up there. Oh, okay, no, it's gonna be, like, right here. Um. I do believe it's, okay. I'm gonna say screw it, we're gonna pick it up. Okay, check. Spark plug, I do believe, will be the last one I want to pick up. So we go back here. It's around the corner. Sprint lock. Sprint lock. Sprint lock. Okay. I don't like flashlights.
Okay, now. Ready for escape. Got the spark plug. The only thing we didn't get is a survivor notes. Nice. And I just got three more achievements from that. Auto mechanic, normal mode, and the escape. And I didn't even encounter him once. Like, I heard his footsteps quite a few times. I didn't use my flashlight, and I'm very glad that I scouted out those parts beforehand. I'm just glad that they were so close together to one another. Let's see if we can't beat it on cut. I don't like... I don't, I don't do hard. Let's try this. Let's make it to where the flashlight uses batteries. Need stamina. Highest it goes is to eight. Let's let's put it. Let's see how this goes. All right, we're gonna turn this off right off the bat because I don't want to use up my battery. So yeah, now we have batteries working against us and since it's custom does that mean there's survivor notes let's check there are survivor notes okay oh and I guess you can find batteries too that's new oh hey the spark plug is back here on the table again so again that begs the question are they all in the same spot Yeah, okay, canister is on the porch, indeed. Is there anything else here? No, just the oil canister. Got it. The battery seems to dwindle really quickly, though. So does that mean the gas can is here in town? Question mark. Yeah, there's the gas canister. So if that's the case, then the battery should be right back in here. Oh, it's not. The battery is actually in a different spot this time. It's not fucking here. Well, that's something. Well, I know where three of the four parts are, but, like, I want to find this battery first. That's going to be the first one I grab, wherever the hell it is. What? There's a code. 1997. Access denied. Um. You know? What what was the beginning of the game? Like March 27th? So what is that? 327? No. Well, that's new. There's a bunker with a damn code, and I don't have a code. It's got to be on one of the survivor notes somewhere. Still looking for this battery. Maybe it's in this train car. Then that begs the other question is, where the hell do I go back to the beginning? Oh, hell yeah. Battery. Okay. Very nice. That looks like a battery. It is a battery. It's a flashlight battery. And another battery. Got it. Okay, so the game has begun. Our boy is here. Where? Nobody knows. past the old Black Ops 2 transit bus. I think we go up this way now? Yeah, I was right. So the battery was the furthest away. We are back towards the road now. Although, I'm really curious about that freaking bunker now and kind of want to go out here and search for these... Oh, shit, turn that off. Kind of want to go back out here and search for these notes. 
How many batteries? I got three batteries. Okay. As long as I can make this stretch, we should be good. Repair the car. Very good. All right. Okay, spark plugs right there. Oil gas or oil canisters right here. I'm just gonna grab that. I'm just gonna grab it and go. Turn it off. I'm trying to hit the D button and I'm pressing F. God, it's such a creepy noise when you pick something up. I can't. spark plug I don't think there was a, a note in here was there hello box oh shit son there he is why does he gotta be right beside the damn car he's standing right beside my fucking vehicle Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to exit and vacate the premises. Sir! But he's literally standing in front of my vehicle. Um, sir... I would like to leave. Okay, okay, all right, all right. You know what? You can just have the car. It's it's pre-owned, you know. What's up, buddy? Oh gosh. Okay, I'm making a run for her while he's walking in that freaking direction. I'm out. See you later, buddy. <laughs> Peace. Love you, bro. I'll send you my new mixtape. I'm out. I'm very curious to know what the hell that bunker was. Continue, we escaped alive. We made it alive all three times. I'm, I'm gonna try hard, I'm gonna suck it up and play hard. If I die, I die, because I also wanted to showcase what it looks like when Siren Head kills you in this game, because I have not died yet, so we're going to try hard. I don't know how I feel about this. He's after us right off the rip. But we know where a decent... All right, so we got the spark plug already, that's great. I already hear his footsteps. Damn, my guy is already outside the door. I wonder if the doors have to be closed. Dude, I like poke my, no, no, wow. No chill. I just poked my head out for a minute. My flashlight's not even turned on and, and like, he's still aggroing to me right now. This is crazy. I hear you, I know you're still there. Oh my gosh. Yo, you got some pretty feet. Oh my. Ah, 
he's, he's the it's the freaking awning. He's trapped by the awning. Oh wait, he got me. What? Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. So we died that time. That's what that's what it looks like when he kills you. Uh, the booming footsteps come closer and closer. His blaring sirens that deafen the surrounding environment make your legs weak. You feel a lift from the ground. Your body froze in fear. Frozen in time. Your escape was cut short. The sight of Siren Head has you trembling to the core. You realize even in the midst of chaos, you are going to die. You are dead. Wow. Okay, so that was very short-lived. But that was Siren Head Awakening. So let me know what you guys thought of this game down in the comments. It is free to play on Steam, so if you would like to experience it yourself, head to the Steam store and go ahead and give it a big old download and try it out for yourself. Maybe you guys can figure out what the heck is in that bunker and where we're supposed to get the code. So with that, nerds, thanks for being here today to enjoy yet another daring adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to catch more upcoming content. And until next time, nerds, stay weird.